people and welcome to another tutorial and today's tutorial we will be building an AI model which will convert a picture into a really imaginative picture let me show you one thing you see this is a photo of Einstein great Mr. Albert Einstein so what my AI model did is converted this picture to this yep it just converted this so what we will be covering in today's video or you can say this will be in a series okay because there's a lot to cover we will be making an AI model for style transfer and what how does it works in the in a you know in a theoretical way I'll make another video maybe a whiteboard session for that so don't worry about that so let's jump onto the code right now so go to your whatever folder you have I I just created a folder called PyTorch now go ahead and type CMD in that and Jupyter Notebook Notebook come on yep it will take some time to open up and once it's open what do you see over here what it has created this picture and it it has used this these uh, filters what you see over here let me just drag that up. See, so how do you create them? I will show you. Wait. So let's go ahead and create a new project. Um, new Python three file, and yeah. Cool. Now, what do we need? Is <coughs> first we need. So today we uh, in in this project we will not use TensorFlow or Keras, but PyTorch. A really good machine learning library, eh? So most of you may not have PyTorch installed, so follow these command: pip install torch. Uh, sorry, torch. Um, torch vision, I guess. Yeah, torch vision. Vision. Okay. And just run that. The requirement already satisfied. I already had one, so I don't need to you know install it again I have already installed it so yeah so we gonna need some couple of dependencies maybe more so, yeah, import you import numpy for every mathematical cal calculation and array stuffs to collect the images into array or convert the images into array to reshape them to get a better idea that how it's gonna work when we once we are there, so import numpy as np, of course, so imp and import torch, j and right now we install that, we just install that thing, we, imp we want to import torch, um, torch dot auto, yeah, auto grade, we want to grade, uh, we are using this because we want to grade, um, you know, we got, we got a gradient, we need got a gradient from one side to another to get a perfect pick of color so that it can transfer the style according to the wrinkles and the curves of the face and all so I guess so it works like that so auto grade and then I wanna import from auto grade I wanna import variables helps a lot come on what the heck yes and this will be from import so if you feel like I'm typing really slow actually my typing speed is just 30 words per minute so please forgive, forgive me about that from optim from torch optim what the hell am I typing torch dot optim import so import. what I'm gonna do I just uh, import all the dependencies once I'm done with that I'll catch you I'll catch we'll catch back okay so let me just finish off with all, with all typing of the dependencies and then I will explain why they use that so I've written all the dependencies let's let's just run this and see if we have installed every dependencies in our computer or not 
We'll take some time. Come on, man. Okay, we have not imported something. Um, variables. Okay, variables. What? Okay. So we gotta install that. So let's just do that. Maybe. Okay, we don't need to install that. So what just happened? Okay, it's variable, not variables, and it's transform. D R A N S form. Oh, stupid mistakes. We hate that. What? Torch vision not available. Because why? Just copy this out. Torch vision. Paste that in. And let's see. Okay, we are out of errors. So let's just start writing the main methods. So we want to end def tensor. Uh, tensor should be good. Show array must be good. Show arrays. Arrays, come on, man. Why well, am I not a good typer? So if you have any kind of suggestion that how can I be a really good and fast typer, so please let me know. And put some what the format we are gonna use is dot jpeg. So whatever image I have is dot jpeg image format. Or we if it's not in a, in that image format, we're gonna convert it in a jpeg format. So let's just do that. Okay. Jpeg. Fun. So a equals to np dot unit 8 okay so what this uh, what this does is it actually collects all the numbers of array into this in this particular function np.unit8 so it's a bit operator which take the information and store that into an array we'll, we will use this for reshaping our images okay so let's continue with that np. okay then we need another np.clip Oh yeah, clip yeah. Then of course you're gonna store a variable, then zero and save it to two fifty five. Then we want f equals two bytes as we are using this. What a wait. Uh, let me just type this. Then I will explain to you. Byte I O. So we are using this function through this library from I O. I O is actually used for bit counts of an image. So we are using I O. For for um for to import this bytes IO library, so why IO? Because we are dealing with the images. We're gonna manipulate some things with the images. Okay. So okay, we are done with that. Of course. Okie dokie. So let's go pl dot uh, image image dot format or something you yeah, form array I want to form an array um, I don't know how much it's gonna take off to just write a few lines of code mm. what the heck I was typing it should be a dot dot save let's see then I have empty huh display image I want to display the image as it always says like that I guess so yeah of course it is so I'm gonna say data equals to f dot get value I want to get some value value From that, okay, that's it. That should be good enough to actually store the information. So, image is image, data is data. So, mm, and yes, of course, this is a method, not just a variable. That's what we get. Hmm. Okay, so that's we are done. So, what we are gonna get, we are gonna cal uh, get the data of the image. So, f comes from over here this variable byte IO as I told you it, we are dealing with images so f dot get value whatever comes in under this thing okay so 
that's it so we're gonna create another method called show tensor I'll type this in the show tensor I want to store a variable called a which comes from here whatever the image comes I want to store that into an array that's why I'm using that so I want to find a mean value using np dot array <laughs> so zero point four eight five is a resolution default resolution what you can say four fifty six and a comma four point four oh six and then we need we want to reshape these images because Th they are not in a perfect square but we are gonna we want them to make be in a perfect square or a perfect rectangle let's just try to make it in a perfect rectangle shape because that looks Im impressing impressive reshape that into a rectangle so if you look at the, the area to into length plus breadth is the parameter of rectangle so I guess and the area must be of course area into uh, no length into breadth yeah of course I just forgot that yeah so that's what we're gonna do so over here one minus one comma sorry one comma one comma three so you reshape the images I'm gonna go get a standard array of the images so array but let me tell you what we're gonna do is actually attaching our model initializing our model with the help of you can say um the help of GPU because I have CUDA installed my computer I want to use my GPU to train these things so I get a fast and better result as if you want to train that on CPU it's gonna take maybe an eternity so where were we uh, 0 0.224 the same process but we are going to get the standard one so that's why we are doing this and I wanna reshape this it's gonna be dot dot reshape come on shape and of course that's gonna be make that's gonna give me an error of course of course why not okay. Be attentive with these things because small things is your really annoying errors, which I don't like. Like error like syntax error or something is kind of fun, but error like does not make any sense. Actually, they make, but kind of confusing one. I just hate that. So, enough talk, let's work. So, we're gonna store the random images using this array. So INP equals choose A interpolate. So INP equals to INP dot transpose. I want to transpose the images. Suppose actually not images, just one. We are working with one, so transpose image. Uh, then we want to type INP equals to std INP plus the mean I wanna add it to the mean value so yeah makes it clean tidy and I wanna actually multiply those things with 255 number then show array I wanna show this array that I have come I wanna show this to Array INP. We can just write that anything. I just love INP. Well, let's just type this as you know. I don't know. Maybe something. Just uh, experiment with that. I don't know. And INP kind of cool um, and sound. It sounds great for me. Clear output. I want to clear output. Wait for if uh, wait is equals to true, then we want to do is 
no nothing we just want, don't want to do it, nothing so weight will be equal to true if the if these value triggers if the show array is INP clear output will be weight equals true oh, we'll see that directly in the results so don't worry about that def we need to find plot underscore images I want to plot these images on my graph so that I can get a really good uh, view with the images so I am title equals to titles what am I typing man titles equals to none start this then we wanna plot the images on the graph then so one we then if you have plot the thing in the graph we want the value to go with 3 to 20 30 and 20 20 yeah and then for i in range what if we use x range let's just see if we use x range I don't think so we should use X-Range because it's I don't think so it supports in Python 3. Yeah, we are using Python 3 so it does not support anything. Stupid. Okay. So we want to say len length equals to mo. I am sorry, the image. Image will be equal to the image. So so plt subplot the image. So I'll plot the image uh, and we'll write the math for this 10 by 5 add 1 5 see what you don't need to actually be a pro for AI you don't need to be a pro in maths to do some AI stuff even I'm not so pro in maths just you need to know the formula apply the formula the computer is gonna give you the output is according to me what I have experienced so once we are done with that we want the R variable to be get added with one, so I comes over here for in range length equals to the image. We then want to subplot the image to make in a perfect size using this math formula: ten divided by five and all the stuff. So p uh, lt dot axis will be off. Well, off the axis if title. And titles come from here, I guess. Actually, I've, uh, yeah, somewhere here, and we just wrote that. Okay. Oh, I didn't. But still, let's just find that tiles. Let me just show you from where did I got this variable. Oh, it was over here. So tile is equal to none. So we, if the tile is equal to none, I will say is not, and is not. Um, none. Okay, if the title is not none, I will say that plt dot title will be equal to titles, of course, titles, and the variable i, what we just had over here. So we want to store that into this titles thing. Plt dot I'm show I'm show I am equals to the I the image equals to I of the then I will store this and uh, I actually don't want to store this I want to say pause it Plt once you have load all the images let's say hey dude please stop it Sh show Not this one. PL pause. It's zero point zero one. That's how we write it. Then what we want to do is normalize this. What? It's happening. Oh come on. Okay. Once we are done with that, so we want to normalize. 
equals to transform dot compose now this is kind of confusing with the parentheses so be careful with that compose transform dot to tensor that is just two Okay, it's two tensor. Transform. Dot. Norm. Normalize. We'll normalize this. So, according to that. Wait a second. I think I've done some kind of mistake or some I don't think so I've done some stupid mistake I guess so <sighs> okay let me just make that bigger okay we have we just typed this in 21 minutes come on man that's not fair let me just type this like uh, fast really fast then once we are done with that I'm gonna catch you up okay so cuz we are running out of time we just gotta do this really quickly so just Let's just write this. Then, uh, if an error comes, you gotta fight those errors too. Zero point. Let me just store, uh, write the values, and I'll catch you up. Okay, so I've written the values. Let's just continue with the writing. Okay. So I want to normalize. I want to time normalize and resize it again. I know you're getting confused even it's sometimes it confuses me too what am I saying and what am I doing so if you're really good and I actually expect you to come if you're watching this video have some basic knowledge about Python get some basic knowledge about Python then it would be easier for you to actually deal with this stuff Let's transform I want to transform yeah of course transform dot compose I'm pretty sure I didn't write that again yeah okay transform dot resize transform dot resize two to four two to four comma then transform it to the trans tensor tensor so what we are doing it doing is transforming the images to the tensor for uh yeah we are transforming the images to the tensor so what this function does is gonna transform the data into an range using transform to tensor we're gonna convert the data into a range for our model to actually easily convert the things into some kind of another range of things so again transform dot form dot normalize normalize again we gotta write the well I'm just gonna copy and paste this Oh, it was the same thing. I okay, just copy this whole thing. Copy and paste. Let me just check the values if are uh, if they're same. Yeah, yeah. If they were same, okay, those are same. Of course, it should be same. One of you, once we are done with that. We have end the, uh, with the pl so what we have here now. Show t tensor. So we have show and show array method. We have show tensor method. We have plot images method and yep. We need more three methods. So another is int. Image size. I wanna 
I want to say this high as equals to. Start the method. IMG equals to PIL dot uh, image from array. And I know this, these are, uh, I'm pretty sure th this cell is gonna have some errors. But still, hope I have less errors to c cover in this video. You know, to fix that in this video. Or I'll pause the video, then I'll just do the deal with the errors and come back but let me just type this first and as I said why do we use unit 8 can uh, list the data into into an array convert the data into an array list and p dot full I don't think so I need to explain this as it always says what it does it's so, um, what I need to get this full in size uh, and the full in size will be 150 by 150 of image. Okay, so much to talk, so much to write. Image, then again, image equals to PIL. That image, so I'm gonna copy it till over here. Not over here. From here to here. Yeah, copy this. Paste. And we are gonna say np dot random pick a random thing np dot random pick some kind of random stuff so let's just call random dot uniform uniform equals to will be in array not in array but in parentheses of course 150 by 180 <sighs> equals to the size it's the variable size from here comes in here so yeah done with that and let's move ahead so image as I said image we uh, image tensor and I told you why we use tensor so I don't think so we need to explain that again you need to be explained that again or normalize that again I'm talking about this this normalization technique. Uh, I guess I've written this wrong. Just normalize. Copy this. Control F. Paste. There's. I hope there is no errors for the spelling mistakes or something. Ah, uh, yeah, of course there's an error. And yeah, it is. It's not an error. It's all good. So we are using transform the normalize to actually convert the range of 0 to 255 to a standard range so uh, to actually convert these into a range of 0 to 1 so 0 to 255 will convert it to 0 to 1 to so that in a mean uh, in a mean value or a standard form so that we can adjust that in future so that's why we use normalize transform that normalize and same thing goes over here normalize Normalize, uh, of course. Why am I a slow typer? I really wish I could have a really good speed, like 256 words per minute, but unfortunately, I don't have that. And squeeze that. Ugh, full of spelling. Squeeze. I guess I've written that right. No, squeeze. So, I'm squeeze that. Equals zero. Say, I am. Uh, sorry, I am G equals to N P. I am G. Tensa. So oh, we are now. We have int images. We need another method called df call load images. I'm gonna load some images for, of course, I'm going to get some reference by that images and transfer that image to a really good style. 
df load images say path resize equals to I'm trying to make this video as short as possible but you know the, there's a lot to write the single cell itself but don't worry the next the future videos will be short enough to so if you're watching this video get some beverage sit back there and enjoy if you're an AI geek because there are I guess there are not so much of tutorial in depth with style transfer with so much of writing in depth thing without any errors and error errors are being fixed in life uh, in the you know in front of you it's just happening and I'm fixing the errors in front of you I'm not hiding anything so that's how it works because there are some videos I don't want to say the name some channels what they do is they just show the thing what they need to show you so but I don't want you to see what you need to see just you need to see I just want you to I'm uh, 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 sorry I don't want to do a thing that you know I don't want to show you that what I want I want to show you that you what you want so if you face some kind of stupid errors you should know how to actually deal with them so that's what we do over here Not open. I want to open this. Open the images. Whatever the path is. Well, the path will. I will give the path in the future. And if the size, if the size is not none, if the size is n does not fit the value. img dot thumbnail of course thumbnail uh, so I see and Talisa and Talias yeah and Talias <sighs> let me explain you that what did I, what did I wrote over here so analyze uh we are using analyze cuz we wanna you know we wanna we don't want some kind of uh, staircase uh effect or the really so much of noise in our image so which will be really hard for our model to detect the image and transfer style into it so we want it as sh as clear as we need as we want so as possible as clear as we need you know as i know what i'm saying so we need clear enough to actually detect the image and tr transfer the style. So that's why we use that. So if it resizes it, if it resizes it, let's say image denser equals to normalize. Don't unsqueeze. Oh, unsqueeze. Oh, it's so hard to just write that. Okay, unsqueeze. I just wanna. Okay, well, let's just unsqueeze this. Squeeze. Or else. Yeah, so, okay. If it, it resizes, the range of the tensor, the range of the data. Will be normalized in resize and it will store with the variable whatever image has come and we want to squeeze it uh, with um so we are saying that we just want to separate out the staircase effect which uh, which uh, which does not make the image so clear you know, just want to remove that from the real image or else hmm, else image okay let's just copy this I think it's gonna be the same so in both the way we want the same thing I just want to remove this thing I just really want to remove this 
except of this. If and uh, resize, we don't be able to get that. Which is we will not just resize it. We just don't want to resize image. Image and P. Equals to RMG tensor dot numpy so we want to return the image variable whatever image comes so that we don't give a blank result image tensor image and np cool enough so we have load images method we have int images plot images show tensor show array so we have a bunch of different methods what another thing called just do that tensor so i think this is going to be so we are left with the last two and we just need two more cells to be written going to be short and easy and I'll cover that into more 10 minutes, okay? So let's just do that quickly. So, tensor to image. I want to convert tensor to an image. We have converted the image to the tensor. Now we want to convert that into the tensor. So we're going to assign that method with the variable t. And a equals to t.numpy. Numpy. And mean mean equals to np dot array. So again, gotta type this. Just wanna copy paste that. This value. Just copy this. Okay. Then read dot reshape reshape. Oh, come on. Reshape it. I inverted that, so I'm sorry with that. Reshape that. To one that goes for the same, we just wrote that method. Oh, we have, ri we have written that. Let's just, um... That mean, yeah, over here, over here, somewhere. Mean, 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 yeah, yeah, this, this is it. So just copy this. So I okay, so almost we need to grab this whole thing. Just grab this. Why do waste time, eh? Oh, we are done with that. So then we want NP. So let's just say, do we have that? We just we need to write that. Okay, we need to write that. So NP um, equals two. Now just so np equals to np dot unit eight unit eight and we'll say unit eight np dot clip np will be zero. And to 55. So return. I want to return some values. So I want to return as dot images dot form array form array INP. So we have that method. So we are going to need last one more method. And fix the errors. R gonna write a few lines of code, maybe five or seven lines of code. Then we are done with this tutorial. Then we'll do the next thing in the next tutorial. So this is gonna be a short thing. Just a just few lines of code. So def df image to variable. I wanna convert the image to variable. 
so two variable mm, let's draw the value of t so t comes from here it's drawing this variable over here so whatever the image we have converted in we need to convert that into variable so that we can in use that image variable in the future code to for the simplification so if CUDA, the, uh, the CUDA is actually, we are using CUDA, uh, I have installed the CUDA libraries in my computer. There are thousands of results that, how can you do that? So that will not con be covered in my channel. That video will not be available in my channel if you expect to have so. There are thousands of results out there for the same kind of thing. Except of this, uh, uh, this topic, style transfer there's really few resources so that's why I'm doing this requires grade so we uh, I, as I told you we are using grade of from here we, are, we have using the torch auto grade function the variables as require the grade variable so we, uh, we have from torch auto grade we have imported the variable and from variable I need and require grade variable to be attached to this image variable Huh. So once we are done with that, mm, the other thing that's wrong. That's wrong. Uh oh yeah. Sorry. This uh, this should be this should be T. I got confused with this and this one. This should be actually with over here. So cut cut and paste of it over here. First, let's just try this. So that will be false. false false and CUDA will be false because that time I don't want these to be active and if these are false if CUDA is false then image equals to the variable image dot CUDA require gradient equals to yep that should be it okay so that will require grade requires grade will be equal to requires grade that's it so else we want to say else image equals to the variable just want to copy this copy and I will return the image okay so we have written that so yeah we are done almost let's just run this and let's see if we don't have any invalid syntax okay line 22 oh yeah this uh yeah course invalid syntax well, let me just cover uh, fix these errors quickly uh, and the 37 line which one man there are really two of them so okay so that works like that um, and of course there should be no space between these invalid syntax normalize resize Transform dot compose. So where is it? Line fifty six. Line fifty six. Come on, don't make me count that. There's a lot to cover. Let's just find this. Just find this. Copy this. Uh, pieces. Okay, so where the heck you are? Oh, there you go. And yeah, of course. So we need an. This should be inside an array. You see, it's showing me an error. Okay, of course, of course. Hey dude, I'm gonna fix that error. We and this old thing will be inside that, so that thing will be inside of these stuff. Cancel paste. Cool enough. Maybe. So okay, now let's just run this. Oh come on. And yeah. 
The syntax is not known. Okay. Mine say four, so find out, find out. Come on, dig in. Okay, here we are. Uh, so here it is. So, oh, it should be is not none. If is not none, let me dot new and then the block. Which line? So in front, lies, and the yes, whatever it is. What does that mean? Just figure that out. Always do not actually do not forget about the spaces. More the space, more errors, invention errors. Come on, line eighty. Uh, inspect it, and then to block. Where is image dot? Okay. So that was which one? Normalized image. So. Uh, of course. Line A2 in well syntax of tensor dot P or numpy. Okay, let me just find one. So the error was Okay, so yeah. Uh there was space between these. Uh it does not match any array in tension level. So what is that so? Literally hate these errors. Hate you. Yeah, because of this maybe. Yeah, this. Yeah. Space. Oh, okay. Line three hundred. Image. IMG. IMG. Image. 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 Okay. Yeah. So what do you want me? Okay. This should be right there. So what we want is to go over there, want it to come over here, and I think so I have done some kind of mistake in those spanks too, so that will be I run that again, name transform is not defined, mm -hmm. which line by the way, line 50, transform.com copy this oh yeah transform not transforms okay okay so that was s I guess still transforms is not defined why is that so Oh, it was about the spaces, so let's do that again. Oh, yes! Okay, no errors, fine. Brilliant. Now, we, what we need is to load the data, load the thing, and lo let's just load our model. Let's just create the model. Okay, so this is just one line of code. Yeah, one line of code. So what we need is model VGG. VGG and I want to say models. So this thing comes from over here, this very top from over here. So f from Torch Vision, I'm going to import some of the models. And what we're going to do right now is going to download a model, a pre trained model, so that I don't need to train that in this in any kind of video, which will extend this, which will extend the video and the complexity of the video. So I want to use the pre trained model. So pre trained. equals to true and it will actually down go to the web and download the thing actually I've already downloaded it so I don't need to do that again so so last bit since bits of code let's do that and then we are done use GPU I want to use my GPU so for information I'm using Lenovo Legion white 520 so it has GTX 1050 Ti graphics card, so 4 gigs of graphics card. And equals false. 
will be equals false if torch torch dot cuda I want to use cuda is available if my GPU is available available really available then I'll say use GPU use the GPU it's true if my GPU is there I'll say yes use this no need of don't don't feel hesitated just use my GPU I want to say model just copy this should be the same thing and I want to load this model into my GPU use this uh, and I want to say this model hey model use my GPU to train yourself in future things so for params params in model models I will be VGG model VGG dot parameters parameters then params don't require the grade so I want to require the grade uh, grade that equals to false and if GPU and if uh, my computer or my model has used the GPU my if my model has used the GPU I'll say print CUDA print I'm using hey man I'm using CUDA your GPU using CUDA so last line of code so model model VGG equals to sorry dot CUDA let's just run the Invalid syntax. What's the syntax? What's the syntax? Okay, should be that. Unexpected and then block. Oh, true. It should be true. Okay, what just happened? Okay, of course. And yep. Now my we have done our GPU initialization. So that's all for today's video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. So what we have done, so yeah, that's that was my ending line. So what we have done is, let's just summarize that again. We have uh, written the, uh, we have installed the, uh, sorry, we have imported on dependencies. Then we have initialized some methods like show images, show ar arrays, show tensor, plot images, images load images tensor to images images to variable and all the stuff then we download an image uh, sorry the model if you don't have a model already downloaded which is a pre-train go ahead and type this command it will download a model which is pre-trained on your computer then we initialize a GPU to use that use this GPU with this model so what we are doing in these two cells are creating the model so yeah that's it so that was success for now so this is part one of creating the model and initializing the model with the GPU and in the next video we'll do the rest of the thing so for now goodbye and yeah so very shortly I will say go to youtube.com AI with Siddharth if you are watching my channel my video you know that go to coding plane hit subscribe button if you have it I'm on my thing so can't and one more thing Go ahead and download my game up to down store. Yes, it's out on. It's out. Okay, it's out and up to down store. Uh, Cause uh, the Play Store does not accept Indian cards, so I didn't, uh, you know, publish that in Play Store. Go ahead and choose Android. Yeah, Killer Box. Killer Box. So this is my game. Siddharth, it's written.
Go ahead and click on that. And I'll team my version so this is some kind of another maybe German uh language. So click on this. And yeah, just got got whatever this says. <laughs> Download it. It helps me a lot. So two of the people have already given me five stars, so it's a nice game. Go ahead and do that. I'll copy this. I'll I will paste the link in the description. So yeah, let's just just uh, let me just scroll this if you have missed something. So so yeah, hey okay, bye, happy programming, happy flying, and be creative, be imaginative as 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 Einstein said that too. That's what Einstein said. Bye. I'll meet you in the next video. Please like, make sure to hit that subscribe button, hit the like, and share my video. Do more AI geek geeks. So I gotta go. I'm feeling hungry a lot. So please, do what I said. Comment below if you have any questions, and subscribe.